Good morning, KVC. It's Wednesday morning, July 15th, and I'm coming to you with a word in season. We've been asking the Lord questions. I hope in this season you're writing these questions down in your journal or diary as a way of going back to. Sometimes when we're on the mountaintop, these questions are great questions to ask. But also, we're in the valley of darkness. These are also great questions to ask. The posturing of our heart to ask those questions means that we're willing to listen and that we want to hear from the Father. Many times in our prayers, it's about our shopping list that we go down. And then when we are done with that shopping list, we say, and God, is there anything else you want to say to us? And we may spend a few minutes, but then we say, thank you, Father, and we go on our way. By learning how to ask open-ended questions, it invites the Father in, which he wants to, because he said, if we draw close to him, he'll draw close to us. Jesus tells us to ask, to seek, to knock, to be persistent in our asking, our seeking, and our knocking, God loves it when we ask these questions. So today, I want you to ask the question, where do you want to meet me today? Now you say, Pastor Craig, that's kind of a silly question because Jesus is in us. The Holy Spirit is in us. He's with us everywhere we go. Why would we bother asking that question? Well, the reason why we ask that question is to remind us that God is always present and that the Father always wants to meet with you and me. And so when we ask that question, there's an anticipation and an expectation, not just in our quiet time, but maybe in the mundane things we do in every day, or maybe in our car, or maybe in a meeting or wherever it's at, God wants to meet you in that situation or circumstance. So here's what I want you to do is just to ask God today, where do you want to meet me? And then once you get to that place, ask him why he chose this place. Ask him what he wants to reveal to you what he wants to say to you, and then just be in a posture of listening. And just thank him that God definitely desires to meet with you today. You know that? Sometimes we don't believe that, but God really wants to meet with you today, not just in your quiet times, but there are other things. You may be just in your home uh, doing housework or cooking or you may be on the phone in a meeting. Uh, God desires in those special times, those special moments to meet with us. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much. And Lord, we do ask that question today. Where do you want to meet with us today? Where's that special place uh, that you want to just commune with us? Lord, our hearts are open and our hands are open today to hear from you. Lord, we have a schedule and we have things planned today, but God, we long to meet with you in those special moments. So open our eyes to see where you're at work and where you want to meet and our ears to hear what you're saying. So thank you, Father. We bless you. We love you. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So ask him where he wants to meet with you. Again, if God speaks to you and it turns out to be an incredible, incredible encounter. Share it with us. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimonies. Testimonies spark and encourage all of us to continue to reach out to him, to continue trusting him, to continue listening to him as he leads us each and every day. So I'll see you Friday with a word in season as we ask another question. 
I pray today it is an amazing day full of God's presence, his love, his grace, and his favor. Love you guys. See you Friday.